Hi guys, it's Dave at Hamble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? We're going to be doing some myth busting today about the famous chaga mushroom. 10 second background on chaga. Chaga is a parasitic mushroom that grows on birch trees and is used as a medicinal herb, is used as a tea, and is also used for fire making in traditional bushcraft methods. If you want to find out more about chaga, you don't already know what it is, I've got a couple of videos which are linked on the screen you can check out now or later. As you can clearly see, I'm right next to a road today, uh, by necessity, because the object or the subject of the video is this particular chaga specimen, which is attached to this birch tree. So there's gonna be some road noise. I apologize for that. I hope it doesn't go too badly. There's a commonly held and widespread belief that chaga, if it's removed from a tree, will not grow back. And there's a specific rule that you'll find on many forums and blogs. And that rule is that if you want the chaga to grow back, so you've got a maintainable, uh, repeatable growth of mushroom on the tree, you have to leave at least 30% of the chaga on the tree, and you have to leave several centimetres of it sticking out. This isn't true. My own experience tells me that you can remove a tragger right down to the bare wood and it will grow back. I've had some long and very boring discussions with internet experts who have adamantly said to me that this is not true, that you have to follow this stupid 30% rule. Now on the face of it, common sense will tell you this 30% rule doesn't work. It's just meaningless. What is 30% of an organism? Does it depend how big the organism is? Does it depend what parts of the organism you take away? Where this rule came from, that you have to leave 30% of a track on a tree, is a mystery. It's one of these things. Somebody has put it out there on a blog or a forum sometime in the past, in a very persuasive manner, appearing to be experts, and it's been repeated and repeated and repeated, and now so many people who probably have not actually got out in the woods and bother to look for chaga themselves and understand how chaga grows are repeating it as exact science. This chaga you see here, it's about a foot across, eight inches wide. One and a half years ago, this was a large chaga conch. Picture on the screen to show you what it would have looked like. Now somebody came along and removed it. This is a chaga that is close to where I live and I'd been keeping an eye on it. I wasn't going to take it away, I thought it was, because it's on next to the main road, it's public property, it's council property, people can look at it. I think it's served more good being on the tree than me taking it. And so, according to this rule, this science that you need to leave 30% of the track on the tree, this should never have grown back. It was removed by somebody and they did a complete uh, removal. They did not leave one, there was just, it was completely, it was, torn back to the bare wood. It was just a thin layer, you know, like less than a millimetre, just dust of chaga left that you could see of the orange dust on the tree. That was one and a half years ago, exactly. And now, I can push my, push my knife into it, and it's grown back almost to one centimetre there. Again, about one centimetre there. You can see, let me just cut a little bit off. That, is living fresh chaga. <coughs> Don't waste it. That has grown back and it's across the entirety of the old chaga. Another bit fell off. Thereby completely debunking the myth that chaga will not grow back if you cut it off and you need to leave this magical 30% on it. Now you didn't see it when it was originally here, you're going to have to take my word for it that this was a damn big chagger and it was cut right back to the wood. But I can come back in a year's time and we can look at it again and see how much more has grown. So there you go guys, thanks for watching. Don't believe the internet experts. Chagger will grow back, but of course always treat it responsibly. Only take the minimum amount that you need for your own personal uses and uh, then the chagger will live healthily you all live healthily and you can uh, give the word to the people out on the internet, the internet warriors who think they know more than I know about Chaga, that they're full of shit. <laughs>